Hello Libra, this is your extended reading. Um, so, um, yeah, this is like the, uh, I feel like it's, um, it's like part two, but it's, it feels like a second act to the moment after that tower comes along and, you know, crumbles your reality and maybe you're not knowing what to do next, right? Because this project ended and I feel like you're taking it because of this Ten of Swords, maybe you're taking it um, more harshly than it needs to be, right? Because it feels like maybe you felt satisfaction at some point because you understood that it was being cleansed, right? Of the excesses of these projects, of this this idea, right? But it feels like you're just stuck up in your head right you you cannot it feels like you're in a rabbit hole inside your mind you cannot like it's in a loop right so you just feed yourself with this not knowing that it's just consuming you right and not giving you peace right because i feel like you have been doing a really good work right and you have been working hard for so long you have been so patient so patient working really hard like dedicating all of your effort and your time to this thing right because you knew you had the sense that it was big but i feel like at some point you were just so focused that you lost sight of the bigger picture so now it's time for you to rest it's time for you to take a break right because i feel like you just got to a routine that you're working, working, working non-stop, like 24-7. And it may be like really, um, it may be healthy in the beginning because you're so motivated, right? And you want to get it done. Uh, but I feel like at some point you didn't know when to stop. You were just working like non-stop, not uh, taking care of yourself, right? Uh, of your health, of your body, of your own well-being, to be there fully. I feel like you were in this automatic um, work, right? So now, because it got to a point that it's just become really stressful and you're just um, in this loop, right? In this mental loop that you cannot come out of, it feels like you have to really take a break like not think about this project at all like it is done it is finished like no matter what comes from it no matter how you're going to present it to the world to your clients or whatever it is done and you'll know the next steps but for now you really need to take care of your body you are tired so you need to rest right maybe you sleep a whole day <laughs> i don't know you'll know but you have to rest and okay so the cards that came after this four of swords were the world and the four of pentacles so after you rest after you give yourself permission to don't do anything to just be right to just breathe to just like be outdoors and do nothing right just be it feels like you're going to remember the bigger picture because i feel like here you lost sight of it right as i said before so i feel like somehow in this rest mode you're going to remember the bigness of it the higher purpose of it and not only okay so the word that i'm getting is not like a i don't even know if this makes sense but it's not like a higher purpose it's like a high range like a high um uh it, it's supposed to go farther than you think your idea your project you know what i mean it feels like you're thinking too small you you have come to a point of focus 
that you lost sight of the um, of the higher calling that gave you this inspiration that gave you this motivation in the first place right because it feels like so far away back in time right because you've been doing this for so long it feels like you lost uh, track of time right and you lost sight of the bigger picture because now you're just um i feel like you're you're going back and forth between this aha uh -huh, i remember and then no but i have to do this you know you um your your mind is just switching uh between these these extremes right this extreme connection like the real reason behind what um motivated you to create this idea to make this idea happen in the first place and then um okay so the word that i'm getting is um the uh you're being a little bit greedy you're you're because i okay i understand how are you feeling okay libra if you're feeling like this i understand you have put everything of yourself in this this project is you i understand how much it has this ultra value to you right it means a lot so the value it's not the material side of it although it could be um increased because of that but i feel like you're just um greeting and it this this um this small thought is just making you lose sight of the bigger picture right so you're just going back and forth like this aha moment but then in the next second you're just like no but i have to do this and that and there's like a to-do list that is endless you know and there are just like these petty things i feel like saying because they're not important they're not what is going to make it really valuable to other people you know because what other people will see the value in it is if you're just speaking and um reflecting the initial idea you know the initial inspiration the higher purpose the higher calling that first spark that make made you want to make this in the first place this is what what's going to be like really far reaching and other people from around the world maybe you know are going to see value in what you did right and so I feel like you're in this, um, yeah, you're switching between these two extremes, right? And I feel like that's because you're, um, you are still processing the end of it, right? You're still um, trying to understand what you're supposed to do next, right? Because you have been doing the um, hands-on work that now the work is shifting and you have to process it in a more mental way right that it's giving you like a little bit of stress <laughs> uh, but also you are feeling it like a like an emotional hit right because you're not it feels like remember with the five of pentacles it was like a cleansing uh, process but it was more like uh, directed to the project itself right this tower moment was um, taking away the excesses of the product itself of the project itself of the art of the object of whatever it is right and I feel like here this five of cups is saying that now that you have allowed yourself to rest for a bit, that you were finally remembering and, you know, going back and forth between the bigger picture and the details, right? The petty details that are not supposed to be your concern right now. You have to remember this higher purpose. It feels like now you are being cleansed, 
your emotions are being cleansed because now it is you that has to be like um how do i say like it's your own internal self-aware cycle i don't know if that makes any sense but it feels like it's a like an internal cycle because it feels like the cycle of uh, making the project is done, but it feels like your own cycle to understand, to be aware that this project is done, that this phase of the project is done, that now there's another part to it that is initiating and you don't really, you don't really know how to deal with it emotionally, right? So you're being cleansed of that. And with this nine of wands, I feel like you're you're draining yourself. It feels like um, it is a new path that you're walking, but you're just you want to take too much with you, right? You're not understanding that you have to be cleansed as well. Your emotions have to be cleansed too, so you can um, move ahead in this new path. And I feel like with this Hierophant afterwards, like this is, well, okay, so the message that I'm getting right now is that because this is the last card of this portion, right, this second part, it feels like it is the end, but it's also the beginning. It is the crossroads, right? And you're just making this harsh turn and you're um, feeling it. Mm, heavier than it has to be you i feel like you're not uh you're not allowing yourself to uh let go of things you know because it feels like one thing here is to let go of something external here i feel like it's more like an attachment like an emotional attachment to the to the project, to the art, to the craft, to whatever it is that you created. I feel like you're you're attached to it. So you you want to take this feeling, this emotion, this sensation, this uh, expectation with you, but you're at this crossroads that you have to make a turn. And this turn is supposed to um, show you this new path. And you have to be um lighter and clearer and um yeah you cannot carry heavy weight right not in yourself that's what i mean it's not like a like a backpack you know it's in you you cannot carry this feeling in you in this new phase because okay so this is really wonderful this hair front is saying that all of this path, like this whole process from the beginning, from that first spark until this very moment that you're, you know, making this bend, making this turn, you're at this crossroads. It feels like you're about to, together, okay, so this is incredible. So together with the project itself, with the result, the product, right, the, the finish product that people are going to receive, that people are going to uh, get it feels like the real the real value of it is when you start to talk about the process of making it right so this is where the true value comes and this is the se okay so this is wonderful this is the second phase right so right now you're in this resting and cleansing mode like an emotional cleanse because you've done the the hard work, hands-on project so far. That phase is complete. Now you're doing this emotional cleanse because you're going to tell your story about how you made it, how you gave uh, birth to something so amazing and what was your process of doing it, of creating it, like from the very first moment until this point, right? And the incredible thing is that Right after this Hierophant on the bottom of the deck is the uh, Ten of Wands. So I feel like um, you're just 
uh, hesitant or reluctant to accept that it is the end. This phase has come to an end, right? It is this, um, it is the finish line of this really big cycle that you've been diligently working so hard on for so long and been patient, like working every day a little bit and maybe a lot, right? So it feels like you, um, what is um, weighing you down is just that you're, you're not, uh, you're in this process of letting go, right? of uh, lighting the load, right? Of letting go of these emotional attachments because it feels like your story is what's going to give value to whatever you've created, right? Maybe like in your, uh, in your solitary space, like maybe uh, away from outside eyes, you know? And now it's because this world is here, it feels like many eyes are ready to see it, right? But you have to allow this phase to end. You have to allow these emotions to be cleansed out of you, right? To finish this cycle, like finish, really allow it to finish, let it go, let it end. So, after all that said, I feel like you are um, going through a big ending in your life, right? Concerning some kind of project or like a like an idea that you really wanted to realize, you really wanted to manifest, you really want to create, and it feels like it has come to this culmination, right? So let's see what the runes have to add to this as a final guidance. <laughs> that is interesting, actually. Okay, so the rune that came was Gemini. And this is really interesting because uh, well, two things. First of all, Gemini is an air sign, right? And it's all about the mind and how it has to, it has the ability to flow with many thoughts and many ideas. But at some point, you have to just filter down the ideas, right? Otherwise, you're just going to be like, like multiplying it, like non-stop right and that could cause like anxiety and stress and all of that right but the other thing that i'm getting here with gemini is that the north node right now is in gemini so the eclipses are uh, occurring right on this um on these two nodes right gemini and sagittarius so and these two signs are all about this process of learning right of um acquiring knowledge of being able to absorb all of uh, the wisdom that we can right and it comes in all forms right and it just it's connected to our um mental ability to process everything right to just uh, to filter through everything every stimuli that we receive it's just like a way to absorb and turn it into wisdom actually right so it feels okay so oh yeah okay that's the message okay so this higher purpose right this um higher calling these um higher forces that were giving you the first spark of inspiration in the beginning are what this Gemini energy is reminding you, right? Don't lose sight of this higher purpose because the nodes, they're just, um, the North node especially indicates like our way forward, like where our um, soul is supposed to go in order to 
evolve, right? And develop and grow. So it feels like here, just try to quiet your mind, rest for a bit. Remember the bigger picture. Remember all of the uh, learning process that you have lived like integrate them and cleanse whatever is in excess, right? Because that's what what's going to allow you to move on to the next phase, right? So this is so beautiful. I really, really love this reading. I hope you enjoyed it too, Libra. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here with me. Take care. Bye.